In carrying on the exercise from the previous video, I'm going to stay with the project file, Chapter 9, Checking Systems, located in your Chapter 9 folder. There are two trains of thought when sizing ducts for MEP systems. One is to use the tried and tested method that's currently in place within your company. Then, let the drafter or the designer know what those sizes are. Select that particular duct run and physically change the size. The other method is to use the duct and pipe sizing tool. If I select this system, and to do this I hover without clicking over one portion of my system and press the tab key. And I press the tab key until I have the system highlighted. Now I can select with my left mouse click and with the system selected, I can click on duct and pipe sizing. This tool uses industry recognized methods for sizing ducts, where we can specify velocity, friction, equal friction or static regain methods. We can also choose to match the connector size, use the calculated size only, or larger of connected and calculated. Additionally, we can restrict either the height or the width. Typically, a restricted height would be the most common use, as we may be restricted in our actual ceiling void. Clicking on OK will run the tool and automatically size the ductwork in the run. We may possibly end up with some errors. Here we have 11 errors which I'm going to choose to undo and then redo the sizing tool with some other options. Here my system has been successfully sized and I have one warning which I need to address in terms of a connection to a duct. So you can see that Revit is very flexible in the way that you can use it as a design and a drafting tool. 